Marta Bulkesha. I work at the University of Copenhagen in the Novo Nordisk founded uh, Center for Protein Research and Danish Stem Cell Center. A lot of the research projects are focused on uh, pancreatic uh, tissues and um, research in pancreatic tissues. In, at the Center um, for Protein Research, we do a lot of research in uh, DNA damage. In the stem cell research field, we have a big imaging task because we almost all the research is done in live cells. So we need to keep the cells alive and of course ideally under physiological uh, conditions. So that's a, a, the big task. Um, because um, the environmental conditions have to be stable. And then we have, of course, also penetration issues uh, because we, the, most of the samples are quite thick, so we need to penetrate deep inside the samples. That is one issue. And then at the Center for Protein Research, most of the um, research projects are screening projects, so we always have large amounts of data. So choosing the microscopes um, really depends on the applications you're doing. So if you do lifestyle imaging, you need to be able to control the environmental conditions very well. You don't want too high phototoxicity, for example. And then if you, have, um, if you do screening, you need a system that is stable, where you can, uh, and you need a software that is flexible in designing your experiment. So it really depends on the applications, how I choose the microscopes. So at the moment um, we have a new project at the Danish Stem Cell Research Center where I was asked if we could do five days uh, time-lapse imaging. And I was initially not sure if we could do it. Um, and then I tried the, the new Cell Vivo uh, incubator box from, uh, from Olympus. And we were able, because of the very stable environmental conditions, to image our stem cells, which are extremely sensitive to CO2 and to environmental changes. We were able to image them for five days uh, stably without refocusing. And that's a real breakthrough, because this was I was never able to do it on any other. Well, sample preparation uh, for imaging is very crucial. So you need to first decide um, what kind of uh, fluorescent um, staining you want to have or what kind of fluorescent fluorophores. And these you should ideally, of course, match to the systems and to the filters and lasers and light sources you have in your imaging facility or in your group. And then one other factor is the sample dishes where you seat yourselves. This is extremely important to also match this to the objective and the optics you have on your uh, microscope benefit a lot from the recent technology development. So once, of course, for the hardware development, so the optics are much better nowadays, the, the filters are much better, the light sources are much better, and this helps us a lot, of course, uh, with our research. But also the software part. Companies put a lot of effort in making the software much more flexible and you are you can have a variable um, experiment design which enables us to do um, to go in all kinds of different directions when designing our experiments